Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. In this group of uh, clips, I am going to cover up all those topics related to the TEE or transesophageal, or sometimes I call transesophageal. Please ignore it. Uh, all of them in less than uh, one month. I am not promise hundred percent, but I do my best to finish all important and uh, common uh, view protocol and limited study, full study, all of them uh, in less than one month. And after that, uh, I hope we go over the ice or intracardiac echo. And meanwhile, I am going to cover up some uh, pediatric that has been left and the rest of the uh, topics that some of you uh, request. Now, uh, let's uh, go for this one. As you know, the most important parameter or factor that affect and make our image better or resolution is the distance of the probe uh, from the target point or interest area. If is uh, as much as possible, we go and get it images that is close to the interest area, shortest uh, window. In the TEE, based on the location of the esophagus and the heart, as you can see on this uh, two, uh, from the posterior view, you can see here and a lateral view from the left side. This is frontal view. Esophagus pass uh, through posterior of the heart at some specific spot is almost contact, especially at the left atrium. Esophagus is contact with the, any other structure to the, directly to the left atrium. At a little upper part, the esophagus is posterior to the trachea, especially at this uh, bifurcation, this level that is one of our level for imaging for aortic arc. This can uh, make our uh, window a little limit because in the inside of the trachea there is air and beside of that we have cartilage uh, semicircle there. So the quality of image at this level a little drop but the rest of the esophagus give us the best uh, resolution that in trans thoracic. Uh, is doesn't give us such a quality and high resolution because of the distance and the long problem uh, that uh, give us poor window. Beside of that, uh, up to the diaphragm, this relationship is very close so we can get different view at different level of the esophagus from the upper to the diaphragm. After diaphragm in the stomach, is still some part of the fundus uh, is contact close to the diaphragm at the level of the mid left ventricle at this level. So at this level, we still we can have close uh, distance between the probe and the heart. But after that, it become far and liver is cover up here and apex go anterior and so the distance is uh, increased and beside of that many times we have air inside of the fundus that it can cause not a poor window in that uh, intragastric level. Later we talk about that how we fix it and how we can get better image at that level. But just remember in those two spots is not uh, doesn't have a good window for the T. Here you can see the relationship and location of the uh, tip of the transducer inside of the esophagus and relationship and orientation with the heart. Usually, uh, based on the American Society of Echocardiography, for full study, we do uh, echo in five level, upper, mid, and uh, deep 
or distal esophageal and then transgastric and deep transgastric later we talk about that that is a full study but most of the time T has been done as a limited and oriented study based on the indication uh, we go limited study for example for watchman we have different protocol for the ablation for valvular endocarditis all those stuff they have different uh, type of the study that later each of them will be explained separately Uh, sorry guys, I got really bad cold for two days and so you unfortunately you have to tolerate my voice <laughs> Indications for the TE as a general rules whenever TTE is not uh, Conclusive we go for the T in other words as a general rules again Always before the T we have to better do TTE I saw a lot of uh, cases and patients that they missed and uh, a lot of pathology in the TEE, but it was very obvious in uh, transthoracic echocardiography. So uh, whoever is indicated for the TEE, first you have to patient has TTE. Uh, the performance for the TEE can be done by three uh, categories of spe specialized. One of them is cardiologist that is focusing on heart, then intensivist, usually in those cases that patient ICU is hemodynamic instability and for rule outing dissection or other pathology important in around the thorax, mediastin, uh, pulmonary embolism and other, we do TEE or finally anesthesiologist. All three of them, they can do and learn to do T. The technique for the performing position of the performer, uh, as a general rule, the classic uh, way is that the doctor stand next to the left of the patient, patient tilt a little to the left, lateral a little 10 to 20 degree, head a little 30 to 40 degree up, and a little flex neck and the tag is next to the cardiologist but is the depending on performance uh, uh, preference of the uh, doctor some doctor prefer do on the stand on the left and take uh, stand on the right machine on the right and they watch it straight forward some doctor know they come and approach from the right side of the patient it's just matter of the preference anesthesiologist usually do from the head uh, under the guidelines of the laryngoscope so is more accurate in those cases that is very challenging uh, for the insertion of the probe with that uh, uh, technique we can uh, insert easily Another important uh, things I want to mention as a tech that you are going to do T before heading to the place check your connect your probe to the machine and check that all knobs and image is probe working because many times especially in emergency situation you go there and you see oh the malfunction we have a broken probe and so it's headache everybody become uh, angry uh, and so be careful when before you heading to the place for tea check your probe connect put a little gel and see if it's functioning correctly here we have the comparing of the trans uh, with the trans esophageal echocardiography uh, in those cases T is much better than trans because of the uh, window and the limitation of the access of some uh, structure so in the, those in these cases T is better preferred to the TT contraindication for the uh, T is the same as contraindication for the endoscopy anything that can increase the risk of the rupture trauma 
to the esophagus, up to the uh, stomach, it uh, is a contraindication. There are absolute contraindication and relative contraindication. You can pause it and study by yourself. This equipment should be always available for performing T, CART for the CPR, advanced CPR, airway, laryngoscope, and uh, a tube, tracheal tube for intubation, mouth guard uh, for holding the mouth that not bite the probe, patient doesn't bite the probe, and the probe. Beside of that, depending on what type of the sedation or anesthesia, uh, we need some medication that this is beyond this uh, one. I am not going to talk about that. Each facility and department, they have their own specific uh, uh, rules for take care of the transducer, how you handle it, how you clean it, how you make it steril, and you storage it. Go follow based on the rule of your facility. I'm not going to talk about that. Is uh, There are some general rules. The technique, so preparation, sedation, and insertion. Those preparation, sedation. Preparation, we have to make sure the patient is NPO for at least six to eight hours, doesn't have denture or any loose uh, tooth, doesn't have any contraindication for sedation, and the stomach is empty uh, and uh, if based on the protocol we use sedation or under general anesthesia that is done by the anesthesiologist and by those uh, two doctor cardiologist and anesthesiologist and based on anatomy of the area of the patient and other condition patient has sometime most of the time is under sedation sometime is under general anesthesia or uh, deep sedation. For insertion, it, again, depending on the facility, some facility they want, they use condom, they put, fill off the condom, uh, pull off the gel, steril gel, and then cover the probe by that long condom. Some, uh, many places they don't use condom just they put without any condom. If the patient has risk of the infection, high risk, those important infection like the blood burn uh, infection, HIV, hepatitis B, C, those important infection is better uh, use condom and be careful about all steril technique. After identification of the patient ID and uh, uh, securing the mouth guard and sedation, we go for the insertion of the probe. For insertion, the footprint should be uh, faced toward the tongue, means down. This is footprint, should be down. An angle or flex, anti-flex, later I'm going to talk about that, what is anti-flex, bending down or forward toward us between 30 to 60 degree uh, and by the direct visual inserting to the oropharynx then at the level oropharynx decrease the angle or bending of the probe a little make it less and slowly pushing uh, through the oropharyngeal level above the uh, epiglot and pulling a little uh, toward pushing the probe toward the posterior wall that doesn't hit the epiglot or lorapharynx uh, at this level. One of the most common uh, problem I noticed that they have it, they, with the same bending, they try to uh, push in all the way to the down. It's the best technique is that at the beginning, when you bend it, when you go around about the epiglot or at the when you pass the root of the tongue, a little decrease angling of the probe and push a little posterior, slowly uh, pull down without force. And if the patient is awake, we can ask them breathe, deep breath in and swallow. In that case, most of the time it goes in and then we go uh, approach and insert slowly more 
and when we go more we decrease the uh, angle of or bending of the tip of the probe when we go at the level of the aorta mid esophageal we just a little again flex anterior or antiflex later we talk about that one of the most common mistake or problem here is uh, when the patient has some anomaly, structural anomaly here, uh, diverticulum, diverticle or other structure anomaly here, that uh, some doctor try to push forcefully. It doesn't need forcefully. Even in nasopharyngeal sp spasm, doesn't need too much pressure. Uh, if in that case, if needed, we, some muscle relaxon can lose that uh, sphincter and push it down. Generally, don't force too much uh, and don't forget the angle of the tip of the probe. Here, as you can see, then when we go slowly down, we first we get that the upper esophageal slow push it more we get it at the mid esophageal lower esophageal or deep and finally transgastric and deep transgastric that we later we talk about each of them here is the amount of insertion all probe they have scale at that uh, body of or shaft of the probe based on that market we can see where we are at what level at the level of the upper esophageal usually we insert probe up, up to 20 to 25 in average adult people from the anterior of the, or front teeth in scissors uh, for the mid esophageal about 30 to 40 and in transgastric 40 to 45 but this is general guideline always you have to uh, attention to your image each person has different anatomy location uh, so it will be uh, it's it will be variable so we have to just based on the view that you see you have to adjust your location of the probe here are those angle rotation that later we talk about those parameters one of the most important factor for get correct uh, and performing successful and conclusive TEE is understanding and knowing the maneuver of that we use in TEE probe. If you understand what effect on your image and how you fix it, the rest of is piece of cake because all of you know the detail of anatomy. They are not a big deal. The only getting correct view and how you approach that view or that structure you are looking for. Each uh, probe has one handle, one cable that connect to the machine, shaft, and transducer, tip of the transducer, and footprint. This is footprint that I mentioned, I, I say that we have to, when you insert it, this footprint should be uh, face toward the tongue, means uh, toward us. And each uh, dependent of the company, though in the handle or control of the probe, there are some knob, wheel, and bottom that they have different function. Uh, my recommendation to you that whenever you want to go do play with those uh, knob and see because each company has different function give them different function just go play with them and see the effect of those uh, knobs and wheel on the transducer and pro there are five uh, maneuver one of them is that we just with pulling in and pulling out or advance and withdraw that we just be pu pushing the probe to the down or pushing, pulling up or withdraw. This is the, with the handle of the probe. Another is rotation or turning of the probe. Just with twisting uh, this probe to the right clockwise or counterclockwise. Here, just I have to mention it. When you put it... Uh, when you want to see the probe, look at the alignment of the footprint with the handle. Because when you are putting inside of esophagus, you don't know what is the footprint where. If you know before that, you check it out the relationship with the handle 
and the footprint that in that case you know exactly where is orientation of the footprint on inside of the esophagus with the turning to the uh, clockwise or we call it turning to the right and turning to the left this is one just we just be twisting or turning our probe to the clockwise or counterclockwise so this uh, surface uh, footprint of the transducer change the direction another is uh, rotation this rotation is exactly the same as rotation in the uh, with the transthoracic probe just for example we do apical four twisted counterclockwise uh, 80 90 degree then twist more that is the, the rotation or twisting probe the same as we do in this uh, maneuver the sector plane twist the sector plane twist that is important you have to know it another is antiflex uh, toward the footprint we call it antiflex against the footprint we call it retroflex and another is a side by side uh, flex to the right here flex to the right and flex to the left now let's see how it's uh, those maneuver effect and how we use those maneuver in the TE here is uh, just I forgot to mention the size of the footprint we have different size for different uh, body size for pediatric a teenager, middle age, small people, and long. Generally, the width of the footprint transducer is between one to one and a half centimeter. Let's see some of those maneuvers. Before that, you know that is the comparing between transthoracic TTE and TEE. As you can see in the apical, for example, apical four chamber, our sector passed through this, and in the mid esophageal. Uh, four chamber is the same the only differences the probe instead of being here is behind the heart in the esophagus so is there but the direction and orientation of the sector is the same the only differences more is that when you're watching to the transthoracic you're watching is that this part anterior part uh, has been flipped up and you see the surface cutting surface of this part for the TEE is opposite way you are cutting the part top part through away top part and you're watching to bottom part this part and you get it exactly the same and the marker always is toward the left side of patient so this is marker left side of patient left atrium here left ventricle anterior mitral valve posterior mitral valve right ventricle part of tricuspid and right atrium is the same as you can see here this sector is doesn't pass through the apex what maneuver we have to do is very easy this is off axis between four and five so just we we have to do a little uh, our sector should be passed goes down so uh, in this one is antiflex we flex it posterior or retroflex with retroflex our sector pass through this one if we want to get apical five or five chamber view and mid esophageal uh, we just antiflex very easy or we can pull a little up and antiflex combination of the withdraw and little antiflex is just with this maneuver doesn't help we have to use combination of those maneuver uh, here for example another rotation here we can see for uh, mid esophageal up uh, two chamber view just we twist it rotate forward 80 to 90 degree we get it two chamber view is the same exactly in the TTE we just twist contact likewise here here we, we called it rotate or twist 80 to 90 degree forward and give us apical two later all those view we go over them one by one in different cross section different orientation we talk about them a lot now let's see one maneuver i want to use uh, see how much is important this another maneuver uh, the turning 
turning to the clockwise or contact clockwise, clockwise or contact clockwise probe. What is effect? The effect of this uh, maneuver is the same as the heel toe in the TTE. What does mean? Let's go here. As you remember, in apical uh, four chamber, if we want to get a right ventricular focus view, do you remember that uh, clip? We just a little slide or just towing. So instead of the sector pass through this, we pass through this side more. So sound beam hit the free wall of right ventricle more uh, perpendicular. This is become right when uh, right ventricular focus views. Just with towing or sector pass through this. It's the same we can do it. For example, in, uh, to in the mid-esophageal four chamber, if we want to see more tricuspid, right ventricle, and right atrium or intraatrial septum, in the normal note position, your sector pass through this one. You want to make it uh, sector go this way, this one. What should you do? It's very easy. With the twisting clockwise, with twisting clockwise, your sector become this direction and give you this view. It's the same mid esophageal, but in theater septal view and right uh, atrium more better and tricuspid and right ventricle. It's the same right ventricular focus view in the mid esophageal, just with the turning clockwise our probe. Very easy and simple. In next clips, uh, I'm going to talk about full protocol of TEE and later uh, one by one uh, other uh, limited study like the watchman, ablation, pulmonary vein, and all other uh, limited study that we do with uh, one by one, uh, I will upload them. Up to the next time. Have a wonderful time. Oh, I forgot. Please participate and answer that to the poll that I put in member group uh, or and in other uh, community in the community I put poll please answer to them to them it helped me for preparing correctly and proper lecture up to the next time have a wonderful time